Hi, this is Chris Tui of DominoGuru.com, and this video is a quick little tutorial in response to a reader question. They want to be able to send out a mass mailer that included rich content in the email attachments, uh, the dear first name type of functionality as well all from Lotus Notes and I have an application that does that uh, it's freeware available for download available to rip open and play around it's called Zephyr so I'll give you a quick overview of Zephyr uh, there's other videos and other tutorials uh, that go over how to use it so I won't spend too much time on it but Zephyr is a very basic application I've gone in I've set up a new email template so I've included the merge fields, I've included the key name, which we'll see that and in, come into play. And I'm grabbing all job documents out of this application that have not had this particular template applied to it. For this uh, example, I set the key name to notification underscore pab mailer. And if it doesn't equal one, which is the notice, for fans of Zephyr, I will be using a timestamp that's a that's in an upcoming release. We're falsifying the from address. It's coming from dominoguru.com at the email address newsletter at dominoguru.com. Uh, we're sending it to the send to. Now that's our first mail merge. And then in the body, we're going to use dear first name. And then we get into, okay, it includes images, links, bold content, so on and so forth. I can include attachments in here, whatever I want it to. So I'm going to close out of this. You can see that there's no job documents. This is where the customization comes in. I've created a quick little agent in the personal address book. And I'm talking quick. It's Lotus Script based. It just grabs unprocessed documents. So whatever you select in the UI, it's going to iterate through them grab the Zephyr database, create a new job document, copy all the notes items with the exception of the form. It's actually going to set the form to job document, set the form original back to person, which is the, the original form, and then step through. I have a little iterator here, but the thing moves so fast you tend not to be able to see it. So I'll go into the personal address book and I will, f I will give you a quick heads up. You'll want to pay attention at this point. I'll select a contact, select actions, Zephyr push, and that's it. So it goes into Zephyr, creates a job document. We have our first name, and we have our internet address here. All great stuff. Now, I'm going to cheat, and I have an agent that should be running on schedule, but I can call it from the actions menu. And I'm going to process that. That updates this. Now, because I'm running Zephyr on local, it actually sits in the local mail.box. I'm going to cut it out of the mail.box because it is a fake address. And I'm going to put it in my email so you can see how this works. So I'm just pasting it in once it uh, refreshes here. We'll be able to open this up. So you can see this email message. We've got Dear Perry. It's going to uh, pdossie at trianglecore.net. And it's got all of our uh, images, its links, its bold text, it's pretty formatted, looks really sweet, and gets the job done. So you've seen Zephyr perform in, quite frankly, right out of the personal address book via a simple customization. Now you can use this for very simplified campaign management sending out emails. Um, you can queue you know, campaigns off of this, queue newsletters off of this. There will be newsletters coming to dominoguru.com. This isn't the delivery mechanism that we're going to use, but for those that want to use uh, generate newsletters, interdepartment newsletters, uh, you have mail campaigns they have to kick out, this isn't a bad way to go. Of course, Zephyr is available for download. Check the post notes. I'm going to actually write the code um, that came with this. I'm going to post that along with this video. You'll see an article back at dominoguru.com. This, again, is Chris Tui of dominoguru.com Domino saying thanks and take care.